G'day, Brad here from DSLRad.com and today I'm going to be showing you in our 2 Minute Tuesday uh, video on how to update your firmware on your Canon EOS R5. However, this will work on all of the EOS range. Um, it's super easy, same procedure, um, let's get into it. Alright, to get this underway you're going to need to jump over to Google and what you're going to do is you're going to type in Canon EOS R5 firmware update and in the search results you'll see I've clicked on that top one there but the first one is the one you want um, it's the Canon website whether it be from Australia or whether it be from America it doesn't really matter um, I'm going to click onto it um, now you've got some options for the categories like Windows or Mac OS version doesn't matter because we're updating the camera we're not installing software for your computer okay so if we jump down to firmware updates you can see EOS R5 firmware update version 2.0.0. That's the current one. Doesn't matter what the current one is today, but whenever you're doing it, that's the one you want. Okay. So if I click on that, um, gives me a description. It tells me some different things that are sort of done to it. Um, if you go to the bottom. You can see there's a download button. I click download. That will download to my computer. I'm then going to take it and using either if I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to use Explorer, File Explorer, just to drop it onto an SD card. Or if I'm on Mac, I'm going to use Finder, obviously. Okay, so um, let's jump over to the camera. I'm going to do that and then I'll chuck it in the camera and we'll be good to go. Okay, so now you can see that I'm in the CF card folder um, and you can see I've downloaded and copied over the zip file that it was downloaded from the website. What I then need to do is I need to click Extract All. I want to extract it to just into this location, so extract. And you can see we've now got the folder there and we've got this FIR file. This is the file that contains the update. So what I want to do is I just want to pop it back into the root directory over here. And now we should be good to go. The camera should be able to find that file and do the update. Now you can see that I'm on the camera side. Um, we need to skip on over to the settings. Uh, we then need to go down and move over to number six. Now you will not see number six unless you're in um, manual mode or a couple of the others, but if you're in auto, um, it ain't gonna work. Okay, so make sure you're in manual. Um, so now I can see number six and I can scoot down to firmware. So I'm gonna go press the set button, go into that. So you can see that there are two options. There's camera and battery grip. I'm not updating the battery grip, um, but the camera, I'm gonna click set on. Okay, it says current firmware version is 1.8.1, .1, update firmware. Now, you will not see this unless you have successfully put that FIR file into the root directory of that card, okay? So if you're seeing this screen, it means it has worked, okay? So when you're ready, just scoot on over to okay and press the set button and away it goes. It should do that update. I've had to jump over to this view because it cut out the recording, um, but the you'll see this, this option here. It says firmware update program, please select new firmware version. Current version is 1.8.1. .1. And then you can see this is the file that I just added. I'm gonna click the set button. Update firmware, question mark. So I'm gonna scoot over to okay, or I can just tap the screen. Can't tap the screen because it's plugged in. I'm going to click OK. All right. Warning, do not turn off power switch or touch any buttons. Okay, I'm not touching a thing. We'll just see what happens. So when it's complete, you should see this screen. It says up firmware update program. Update is complete um, with the old version to the new version. Once you click OK, you are Dunskies. So one thing to note, that took about four to five minutes, and in that time, it asked you not to touch any of the buttons. Uh, might be a good idea to make sure before you even start that you've got a good battery in there. Um, that is an assumption that I made that you do, um, but all good. So thanks for watching. Hope that helps you to get your camera updated. Um, happy shooting. See you later.